Stage four of the Over Energy Women's Tour from Warwick to Burton Dasset Country Park. Shadows here of the historic Warwick Castle. And it's our first ever hilltop finish here in the history of the Women's Tour, rolling out from the start. In the century picture in that green jersey, Lisa Brenauer, just to her left, in the black Skoda Queen of the Mountains jersey, Christine Majerus. Yoli Dura starts in the pink breast cancer care points jersey. Corin Rivera goes into today's stage still in that red jersey as the Iceberg Sprints leader. And a big attack now, and it's Sarah Roy of Mitchelton Scott that's now going clear. You can see immediate reaction behind from Alicia Polini and Team WNT. But Joe, the sprinter going clear early on in the stage. This is a really exciting move. So there's not much control in the peloton. There's no big team with the power now because we lost quite a few riders yesterday. So, you know, CCC just down to two riders. So no one really able to control this. And she's getting a nice gap now. Our lone leader, Sarah Roy, heading towards the first iceberg sprint of the day here in Brinklow. She sweeps up maximum points and three bonus seconds. She's got two chasers behind her, Femke Marcus and Lottie Becker. They're going to sweep up second and third. No sprint between them. So trying to catch our lone leader. Confirmation of your results. Sarah Roy takes it from Femke Marcus and Lottie Becker. So now three riders at the head of the race. Sarah Roy, our virtual leader on the road. As we come up towards this next sprint, Sarah Roy is just going to roll through here. And this is the right thing to do. No messing around, no sprinting. They just want to keep that pace nice and high, keep the continuity and the fluid movement and the brake and not lose any time. Our bunch are on to the climb. Watch out for that Skoda Queen of the Mountains jersey of Christine Majerus. But it's going to be maximum points, it looks like, over the summit here for Sarah Roy. Marcus quite content just to sit in the wheel now of the Mitchelton Scott rider. As you can just see, shifts into the bigger gears now as she goes over the top. And these two riders will press on on the descent. Our Skoda Queen of the Mountains leader, Christine Majerus of Bull Dolmans, now up towards the front. She wants the points for fourth place, and she takes them. And she's followed over the summit there by Ellen Van Dyke. There's confirmation of your result. Roy Marcus Becker taking third, and then Majerus extending her lead in the Queen of the Mountains with three points. It is really useful to see the finish if you can beforehand. So a lot of road races are point to point, so you won't get to see the finish at all until you're actually racing for the win. Some teams will recce stages before or get someone to go out and video it. Uh, but this is quite um, unusual for a stage race sometimes to do laps like this. So I think the riders will be relishing this opportunity to see exactly what they've got to deal with. But now there's a big attack from Trek Segafredo. And Van Dyke doing a great ride to try and get herself up there. But this trio, again, former winner, Cassia Nuvadoma, Sitting second wheel, dangerous rider to try and get clear. There'll be alarm bells ringing in the group behind. So Ellen Van Dyke needs to do no work at all. Now she can just sit on the wheel, but it's her teammate in the blue best British, British riders jersey, Lizzie Dignan, trying to bridge across that gap now. So Lizzie Dignan makes a move. There's Corin Rivera. Lizzie banks up towards the front. Jasinska is there as well. Here's the WNT riders just starting to slide back. Ode Bionique just goes through the camera shot. There's confirmation of your results. Sarah Roy, Femke Marcus, and leading over from uh, Elisa Longo Borghini. Our leading trio, Cassia Nuvadoma, Elisa Longo Borghini, and Leanne Lippert now up towards the summit, the second passage of the finish line here in Burton Dasset Country Park. They'll get the welcome sound of the bell in their ears. The next time they come round, they will be racing for the stage victory. Christine Majerus, the leader of the Skoda, Queen of the Mountains, going across the line as Lisa Brenauer just gets rid of her rain jacket. Confirmation of the result. Cassia Nuvadoma takes maximum points ahead of Elisa Longa Borghini and Leanne Lippert with Christine Majerus scoring a welcome three. 
300 meters to go now up towards the summit. Cassia Nuva Doma, she has never missed an opportunity over the last couple of seasons to try and take another stage victory in this race. The winner in 2017, can Leanne Lippert find her way back in the final few meters? I don't think she's gonna make it, but the German is closing. Cassia Nuva Doma now rounds the final corner. She sees that line ahead of her, just 150 meters to go. One last effort, Lippert is closing down as the climb flattens out. Cassia Nuva Doma grits her teeth. Lippert battles back, but it's going to be a stage victory for the look of it for Cassia Nuva Doma of Canyon Shram. She takes the summit finish. Leanne Lippert, a strong second place. Lizzie Dignan crosses the line in third. We're looking for the green jersey. Amy Peters, Demi Vollering, there's Brenauer. Just getting pipped on the line there by Lizzie Banks. And behind her, Christine Majerus. We'll see how that affects the general classification. What a stunning victory there by Cassie Numadoma, but fighting all the way to the line, Leanne Lippert trying to minimize her time losses and clearly going for the overall as well. Kasia Nuvadoma beat Leanne Lippert in the sprint to the line to win stage four. There was a seven second gap back to Lizzie Dignan in third. Amy Peters was two seconds behind her. And then came a group containing Demi Vollering, Lizzie Banks and the green jersey Lisa Brenauer. The winner of the 2017 edition of the Women's Tour, Kasia Nuvadoma celebrates the stage victory in Berta Dasset Country Park. Christine Majera still holds on to the Skoda Queen of the Mountains jersey. And in the Iceberg Sprints competition, Corin Rivera remains out in front. The Hooligan Competitivity Award went to Sarah Roy. Lizzie Dignan lies third in GC and retains the best British riders jersey. She finished runner-up on today's stage, but Leanne Lippert is now the overall leader of the Over Energy Women's Tour. Confirmation of the GC after stage four, Leanne Lippert and Kasia Nuvadoma are tied on the same time, but Lippert holds the green jersey thanks to finishing higher on the previous stages. Lizzie Dignan is just three seconds back in third and Lisa Brenauer drops to fourth.